grand final time and the floats an invitation that we have announced esports against Enigma. And we have a sub for the side of the American slash can is subbing in for us, I think, because apparently he has an emergency, so he had to go. So slash can is. I mean, that's a good sub to have, slash can. Rough again on Clefable, Adesso on Dragon Knight, Gatlu on Dodrio, Blaine on Sableye, and you tower for a billion same on Mew. Pika Def on Slowbro, Uzi on Greninja, Oblivion on Gardevoir, Slash Can on Mime, and Boybi on Lucario. Europe against North America in the Grand Final. That's what we like to see, right? That is what we like to see. And they're kind of playing the same team comps that they just kind of like now. Pika Diff almost on Slowbro. Ruff is playing so much Cliffhaven now. Boy B liking Lucario. Gatlu just keeps on playing Dodrio. And Blaine as well, Sableye. And yeah, Yutao. I think Yutao has only played Mew this entire tournament. If I remember correctly, he has played nothing else but Mew. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> He's going to keep playing it. Why not? Bruff with a Clefairy again. Playing his Draining Kiss Clefable over and over again. It's funny how this actually makes him to the Grand Final and how Bruff can actually pull it off. Hilarious to see. Because again, Clefable is still considered a weak Pokemon in general and he's playing a Draining Kiss in a competitive environment. No invading happening this time. Bruff against Slash Can, who's going to get this last hit? And Clefairy gets it. Clefairy has good last hitting early game. And Draining Kiss as well. As soon as you get Draining Kiss, you actually have very good last setting. And Gatlu just being a berry thief right here. He's one of the most annoying players the Knight has to offer. You can already see why. Takes both berries. Is he actually gonna die from this though? Light Screen's gonna stun him out of his sprint gauge. Who's out to take goes against the wall? Slash can run chase in his first blood. Going over to the Americans. Gatlu being a bit too aggressive. Uzi's also here, and I think Breath is also gonna fall. The wrap up is gonna be enough. He has Draining Kiss. He's almost full HP there, actually. Is the focus enough to keep him alive? No, it's not. But Adesu C. Bottom type for Adesu. Can Adesu find the KO on Big Uzi? He's gonna find it, yes! The Draining Breath is enough. It's gonna be another KO as well. Slash can. It's not going away from the wrap up. And the auto takes of Draining there are gonna be enough to take down a double KO for Adesu. <laughs> they're just diving. They're stealing berries away again. Both berries are gone, smoke screen is there, Big Uzi's looking for maybe counter KO, or Desu's dropping quite low, but it should be totally fine for him to get away. And now Bruff is looking super strong. Oblivion looking for level 5. Can Bruff get this one with Draining Kiss? Unless... Yes, he does. There we go, there's the Draining Kiss last setting. It is a lot of damage Cliffhaven can do in this early game with those two abilities. Looking maybe for score. Is he going to score 22? No, he can't. It's a bit too much. No score sheet on Clefable. And there we gonna be. We have level 5, the curly evolution done. And we have Gatlu invading, but he messes up the last hit. And now Uzi can maybe get this KO. He has rep buff, which means Gatlu can't get a sprint gauge back up. Serves after him. Gatlu says he won HP. He should fall right here 100%. He's gonna turn it around or he tried, but Yuta was here with the serve from the side. Turns into fight scenario, goes into Electro Ball. And gets a double KO. Yuta is just so clean on this Mew every single time. Comes in flying in from the side. Switches to Electro Ball. And gets the execution damage done. Rough HD going in. Boy B is very, very low. Hyper Beam is flying through. Boy B is getting attacked by Bruff. And the Clefable Bloodthirsty gets the KO. Eject buttoning with Follow B in into a draining kiss. Takes the KO, then Lucario. Follow me again. Just doing a bit of CC. Not too much. And we still have two people top though. And Yu Tao is already level 8 and a half. He is level 8 and a half. We get a holding its own on top here against two Pokemon. And we have now it's already working on Red Eyes. We have Hyper Beam, so let's see if Adesu can have a clean Hyper Beam. No, it's too late, but he still gets it. Wait, he still. Wow. It looked like it was too late, but it just barely got it. Still, Boybi's gonna fall as well. Two, two KOs for the side of Nouns. Flash is also gonna get Hyper Beamed. Dodi's gonna pick up this KO. And Nouns are gonna just roll over this early game. Oh, they can even overscore this more perfectly. 16 go in, 30 go in, 28 over cap. And now Curly is having no chance getting chased down. Gatlu just wants this KO. He's going for these on NDDs now. He's just diving. He has to unite move up. And they just murder this Curlier. This is bullying at this point. 
Mime is also gonna fall. Oh, this is brutal. Absolutely brutal. Virgin Lake is being taken as well. Now, Desu should just be able to bomb the it quite easily. Unless Uzi has a word to say. He has Unite Move up. Looking for the surf reset, maybe. But he can't quite do it. Unite Move is there. Doesn't really hit anything. Boy, he's gonna fall. To the Dragonite Auto Attacks. And the cur <laughs> this Curlia is just getting bullied down here. It has no chance of getting any experience right now. Ruff is dropping low. Does he have a Dreni Kiss? No, he gets surfed. And this could be Uzi's chance. He gets another reset. Is this surf up again? Does he have it? Smoke screen is there. Yes, he has it. Double surf. Uzi. Having a great team fight now. And they're gonna pick this Reggie Lecky. So. Nekma making a comeback on top. And Uzi almost level 11 now. Highest in the game. On this Greninja. Finding some nice KOs. Nice surf resets. Ruff is back here. Now does he have Unite move up? He looks so Uzi. And just say, say that. He dies a bit too deep. And he gets punished for a double KO already. And got to a new Towner from the side end as well. That's four down for the surf Enigma. And that puts Noun into a huge lead again. They're gonna score a lot of points right here. 33 go in as well. Are they gonna break the score? They're not breaking it. Maybe now, after getting this by toy. No, they're not breaking it. They just want more, more points later on, which I think is reasonable. No point in breaking it right now when Jojo and I know Jojo can't even do it. When Sableye can sneak it later and maybe just score more points onto it. Or you know, Dragon Knight fly onto it with its 40 points. Oh my god, the solar beam damage. They already get the first KO with the solar beam. And uh, Uzi's diving in, but he dove right into hyper beam. He gets absolutely deleted. He gets absolutely deleted. Hyper beam is also going to reach Boy B. He's the next one to fall slash can. You're like moving across the wall, hitting two or three targets. But it's not going to be enough. The Mew Knight is going to be there to counter it. It's probably Knight. And Guard One Knight is going to go into Dojo. Can they finally find a KO? Yes, they can. Can they find some more? Dragon Knight is going to fly into the air with its Unite move. Uzi is diving very big, but he gets feared. Who's our take of me? He's not going to find a target. Oh my god, this is so close. Prof is still in the around. Looking for some follow me's. Boy, he's diving in with the eject button. Oh, he tried. Well, you know, give it to him. At this point, you got to be desperate. The power punch eject button combo. But he just gets boosted auto attack to death instantly by the Mew. And falls apart. I think it was a nice try. I think if you're this far behind, you can, you can be a bit desperate. So don't blame him for this move. Gatu diving in again. Has the agility instantly resetting his sprint gauge. Why right, attacks are here. Now they want to try and break the score. He's actually seen light moving, but he doesn't have enough damage to kill the power of Mr. Mime. His team is here. And they finally kill the Mr. Mime who's still healing to carry with the power swap. They just can't KO them right now. Gatlu looking for Slash Ken again. But the power swap is there. Can he finally KO him? I think this should be it. The power swap is there. He's still one HP. But he's finally going down. 29 points going for the Sableye. Finally breaking the goal. Curry's also gonna fall. Can't get the counter KO with the close combat. And Vigileki. Gets hyper beamed. And now it's just dominating this match still. But honestly, level wise, they're not far behind. We have Gal 12, Guninjo level 12. So they still have chance in this team fights to maybe come back. On the other hand, we have Dojo on 13, Sebae on level 12, with Haber on level 12, you on level 12, and Dragon Knight on level 12. The entire team of Nouns has been 12 and 13 right now in experience level. So, they stay across the board, they have a huge experience lead. Now, then they're looking for something. Slash can already super, super low, and the boost out take of Gatlu is going to have to take him down. Lucario is also already dead. Pikadif. <laughs> Pikadif against Bruff. This duo could just take ages. But Yutao is here. Another solar. Oh my god, the solar beam damage is disgusting. And he hits all of them as well. Backfather like spawning, and they're just going for it. It's a 3v5 right now. They're gonna look for Guard while Blaine's already flanking. Looking for the fear, maybe Dorothy is running in. And Rekwaza actually dropping fight. No, this could be bad. But Mew secures it. Of course, Yutao gets the Rekwaza as well. Of course he does. Why would he not? And there's this surrender vote in the first match already. They know it's over. We all know it's over. And now it scores ahead 1 0 in this grand final. They are just too good. to 143 points would have always been more. 13 KOs on Mew. 13 KOs on Mew. 
This could be the last match of the tournament. We have a Sableye surprise. We have Yutao and Mew. What a surprise. We have Bruff on Cliff Hable. Another huge surprise. What is Gatu playing this time? He didn't get Dodrio. Dodrio goes over to Enigma for Oblivion. Uzi going back onto Glaceon. Pikadiff, Slowbro, Slash Cannon, Mime, and Boy B playing Lucario. Gatlu playing Dragon Knight? Gatlu playing Dragon Knight. That's new. And we have Adesu with the Rapid Fire Scarf Sylveon. So probably playing Mystic Fire again. Which he did earlier too. The Mystic Fire. Muscle Band, Rapid Fire, Scarf, Glaceon. Very, very interesting. Will this be the final match or can make the North American team a comeback for the region? Or is it just going to be now sleep sweeping the North American continent today? Can Cliff Hable with the Draining Kiss actually win a tournament? It's probably be probably the first tournament win for Cliff Hable going Draining Kiss. If announce and Bruff take the victory here in this match. We have Dratini and Eevee sharing jungle. Eevee is taking the bot side. We have Dratini taking the top side for the red buff. And Eevee taking blue buff to get to level 4 very fast. And again, it's going to be Mystic Fire Sylveon. That's why most likely Bruff is going to go over. He's going to score 6 points. The fairy is still being very cute. He's going to start maybe looking for these last hits. Does have decent last setting, but the fake out might be enough. No, Bruff gets it! He somehow gets this last hit. I don't know how, but he does get it. He's going to go over again. He's going to score more points, get level 4, maybe. Unless he dies, he's focus bent. Going to keep him alive. There we go. He's going to score 5 points. He's going to evolve to Clefable now and get that draining kiss ready. Looking for this needy. And there we go. Goes over to his team as well. Blade is getting stuck to the same line. Might just fall here. This could be first KO for the American team, but no, it's just not enough. I mean, he's looking at Bruff right here, looking at this Cliff Able. Let's look at top side a bit. Gatlu looking for Pikadil, who gets his evolution done. He's going to pick up the Skite. And Gatlu looking very aggressive, very aggressive with the Bang Dance, Dragonair. But it's not enough to kill a slow, bro. It's just so tanky. It's just so tanky. Mid Atari is spawning in 30 seconds. And we have Mew invading and Gatlu finding a KO on Lucario. Lucario not as squished as tanky as slow, bro. And he's going to fall. Yutao and Gatlu picking up that KO. Big Wizzy going back to the jungle. Farming for level 6 to get the free try. 4 points Quinn for Blaine. He's gonna use the Shadow Sneak. He actually gets hit though. Can he get away? Boybee's on the chase. He's gonna try to guess where he is, but he couldn't guess where he is. Blaine just going towards bot side. Obviously, he was still invisible. And now we have Adesu and Bruff just diving this goal. And Oblivion only level 4 still. He's gonna pick up this blue buff for level 5. And his team is picking up mid for free. Now it's not even contesting it. They're like, I don't think we can fight it. And they just completely give it up. And now Big Uzi is here on bot lane. Evolution against Evolution. Rough looking for this last of the Draining Kiss. I'm not actually sure who got it. I think Glacian got it. Mew scoring 19 points. He's taking his special specs. It's a triple glass Mew. Triple glass is Mew to see better. And actually, Utah is getting punished. He's gonna fall for the score, but I think it's still worth to get 19 in. I don't think he cares dying for that. And boy, we get 11 in. Yes, but Gatlu's here. Now he's gonna pick up the kill on Lucario. And he's gonna evolve into Dragon Knight. Gonna pick up the Hyper Beam as well. And Pikadif has run away. Hyper Beam does so much damage. Actually, no, barely did anything to Slowbro there. Slowbro just so tanky. Oblivion scoring some points. And we have Bottom spawning in 5 seconds. An entire team of Nouns is already rotating there. But Enigma's in a good position. They're just gonna start doing it. They're just ripping this Reggie Rock instantly. And I think they get it. Icy Wind through Power Punch should be enough to secure it. And yes, they do. Well done by them. Oblivion is dropping Super Little Dwayne because their Bruff is jumping deep. He's gonna find Uzi. Electro Ball is gonna follow. That's the first KO for Nouns. Can they find some more? Bruff is still half HP. He's showing him with the follow me again. And three KOs for Nouns. After the objective, they still win the team fight in the end. Oblivion trying to buy time going in with the drip pick and he finds Mew! Does he get away though? He's gonna score 14 points with the score shield. I don't think he's gonna live, but he doesn't care. He got a KO, he got a score and I think he's quite happy with that, doesn't matter what. Some are finding Yutao on Mew. And Big Uzi now hitting level 9. Currently highest in the game is Gatlu in level 10. On this Dragon Knight. And Bruff will look into watch these Atari as a mid with the Draining Kiss build. I'm gonna start farming, it's gonna take a bit. But he's surely gonna get them. He only goes for the small for the Swablus, and he's gonna walk towards top, maybe defend. 
Since Enigma might be looking for a push right here. Oh, bot lane, we have Sableye dying, but they're going through deep points. Sylvia and Roof is landing on both. Mystic Fire is going to chase on the Mr. Mime now. There's no way for him getting away. Electro Boy is also going to land, slowing him down. And that's Sylveon picking up this KO. Back to top lane, we have Bruff still looking for the follow me. On to Jojo, Hyper Beam is there. Can Bruff get his Unite move out? No, he can't, he just gets drill picked. He gets murdered by the drill pick. Goes down, double KO for the Dodrio. And they're gonna score some nice points right here. 40, that's gonna be a 38 over cap for the North American team. And Dodrio picking up a triple KO in the end. Nicely done by them. Good comeback into this match. So uh, they're not done yet. They are not done yet. They want a game number three, that's for sure. This Quest Savion jumping over here. Looking for Lucario. I think Lucario can fight this necessarily at all, so. 10 seconds for bot Reggie to spawn. And Mr. Mime is kinda caught. Slash can in a bad spot. He's gonna get ran down. He's just trying to buy time. He's gonna get clapped by the Clefable. And Reggie Lecky is slowly getting finished now. It's gonna take a while for Brock to clear this. So we have Enigma going for this Reg Ice. Dragon Knight is flying in. But he has a bit of a string dance stacks first. Let's pick out a fifth Night Wolf. And he hyper me very early. And it goes over to the side of the North American team. They're gonna be on the chase now. Icy went over the over the wall and got who's gonna fall. That's a lot of experience for Enigma over here. Level 11 Dragon Knight dying. And Big Uzi is not done yet. He's looking for more. Gets confused straight though. Has to be very, very careful. Adesu has the focus band procced. And Pika Dev has to eject button away. On the run now, and but he should be totally fine. Two minutes to go for Rayquaza to spawn. For the last final two minutes, potentially of this tournament. Unless... Unless the late game goes a different way. Right now in experience, it's actually quite close. Oh, Yutau Pei shaking into the Icy Wing Glaceon. And he just gets absolutely murdered. By this Icy Wing Glaceon, still a super high damage build. Ruff is here with the Hyper Beam. The Fable looking for the 1v1 KO. With his Unite move, actually getting lucky there, getting the Hyper Beam, which probably does a lot of damage. And he jumps in again! He's gonna take on the Glaceon. Ruff is just a bit different on this Cliff Fable. He just jumps back in with the Follow Me into a Draining Kiss. Double KO for Bruff on the Cliff Fable. And you know, Odessa's on the chase, but I don't think he's gonna kill a Pika Diff. There's no way he can kill a Slow Bro, unless he's first back in. To try and by time, he's level 11. Follow Me is there. And they might just get him. It's very close, another surf lands, and he actually does die. Bruff jumping in again, another follow me into a draining kiss, and he's just clapping. This clip babe is hilarious. Can Bruff st start feeling back up again? Follow me goes out, he gets the shield. I see when it's there. Ah, he finally falls. He finally falls. If his draining kiss was up again for these Atarius, he could have healed to full HP. But he used it on the other two targets, so he goes down. Nice strip pick here onto the Mio. Utah was going to go down. But so does Lucario. And now Gatlu is going to fight with Legi Legi against his Dodrio. He should have no chance defending this. Hyper Beam is there. It's so much damage. Rip Pack is there, but yes, she's looking for the 1v1 KO. Can't do it. Legi Legi is going to go in. Gatlu is going to score 50 points. Make them 199. But Enigma is going to look for this bottom. But Adesu finally with the Mystic Fire Sylveon. It's going for Glaceon, and he gets the KO. He's going to start chasing Slowbro again. Solar Beam flies through. Mew has a boost out attack ready. He just has to lock on. There we go. Walks back for more damage. The further the target is away from you, to auto attack, the more damage it does. And Veggie Steel is gonna get secured by Nouns for these last few minutes. That's gonna be massive. Also for Clefable. <laughs> also for the Clefable. Who's currently sitting on 4 KOs. Getting level 30 now. And we're entering the last two minutes. But Nouns actually not really in position. Bruff kinda just farming up there. And uh, yeah, they're just kinda going for it. They're starting to break Quasar. And Nouns has to do something. It's already quite low. Ruff missing the follow me. On the backside, we have Gatlu. He's getting, getting caught. If he gets slow Night Moved here, it could be a disaster for Nouns. And he does get slow Night Moved. What is Nouns going to do from now on this point? Follow me is going to jump in again. Ruff getting a fly. He's looking for the Glaceon. Can he kill? Together with the Sableye? Yes, they can. Fly was very good in this scenario. He's able to just dive onto the Glaceon together with Sableye. Slash can on the back. And Pompop is just running in with his Clemaine Kiss to Fable. He just does not care. That's two down, that's three down, that's four down, that's five down, and Rayquaza's down as well. Make that six. Now in esports, the ace Enigma in this grand final. There's this render vote with Clefable. Just unkillable in the end. And Nouns is gonna win the Floatstone Invitational playing Draining Kiss Clefable.
and Mystic if I have Sylveon. Yep, never thought I would see the day where those two bills in the same gate, same team actually win a tournament. And I've got some damage numbers as well. Rough on 53,000 damage with Clefable. Highest damage is Adesu in his team. Overall, was still the Glaceon. And congrats to Nouns for winning this tournament.